We all want to look our very best on camera, but some days we wake up with one of these bad boys. <gasps> Today, I'm going to show you how you can remove it using my clone stamp tool for Final Cut Pro. And if you're a patron, you can download this effect right now, or you can also hit up the link in the description to my store page where you can purchase it. The first step is go ahead and look up the clone stamp tool down in your effects browser and bring it over to your clip. Then from there, come up to the top and click on this icon to add a shape mask. Shrink that shape mask down to the size of the blemish. Leave it a little bit larger so that the object tracker can actually do its job and you don't need to worry about the feather just yet. Jump on into the tracker settings and go ahead and click analyze. Now you'll see in a couple spots the tracker got really crazy here but that's not a big problem. All we need to do is unlink the tracker from the shape mask then we're going to come down here to the bottom right and we're going to click here and uncheck the scale. So now the scale of the shape mask is not tied to the tracker. Jump into the scale settings and go ahead and re-shrink it down to the size of the blemish. Now I generally find that if I have the size of this really small, just a little bit larger than the blemish, and then I have the feather pretty large, I usually get a good result. So now let's go ahead, select your clone stamp tool here and we can click and drag using the on-screen controls to hide the blemish. Now it looks like I still need to shrink it down even a little bit more, maybe bring the feather down a bit, just like so. So if I come back here, we can see that the blemish appears to be gone. Now, if that's not quite working for you, you do have some extra options here. What you can do is come on up here to the shape mask and add a color mask. I'm going to reduce the opacity of our tool here so that we can see the blemish. And then I'm going to just click and drag over the blemish to get that color selection. So it'll be that red color. Then we can actually drag up this softness a bit. And now if I bring in the opacity, we can actually see this is what it looks like with zero softness here. You can see the blemish there and we can drag up the softness. And so now just the blemish is getting that clone stamp. So that is going to really clean it up and look way more professional. And you shouldn't have to worry about any weird clone stamped spots. Hopefully now you can remove those atrocities from your face and get back to making your videos. If this tutorial was helpful to you, consider pressing the like button, consider subscribing. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.